Hello folks, welcome back to the channel and another video. Um, another SLR this week and uh, the Pentax A3 with a little bit of a twist for me. So here we go, Pentax A3. Um, you know it better as the A3000 if you are from the United States, because uh, for some reason, as many camera manufacturers do, uh, they change the model name uh, depending on the country they were selling it in. Um, as you can immediately see, it's a bit of a strange uh, shape compared to most SLRs. If I just quickly grab another one here, this is a Yashikra I've yet to put in a video, but I will be, don't worry. Um, you can see that it's kind of balanced on either side, whereas the Pentax um, has this sort of large bulbous uh, end. Um, I will explain what that's for. It's not on all Pentax uh, models by any means, but I'll explain what it's for if, if you don't already know. So this camera was produced from uh, 1984 and um, it's a manual focus camera, just like most of the SLRs that I've shown you in the past. Um, but it is um, pretty much automatic in just about every other respect. Uh, but I will sort of clarify that. Let's do a quick rundown of some features. So if we look on the top here, got our uh, take back spool, uh, pretty common. And like many others, um, if I lift up the little lever, and pop and you'll see the back opens up um, obviously the chamber for the uh, film um, metal um, uh, shutters here um, and then I was obviously our uh, wind on spool uh, etc all, all pretty straightforward stuff got a little window on the back for to remind us which film we've got in there which is quite handy um, We've also got our ASA or our ISO setting here um, if we're not using a DX film. Uh, DX film is not something I've mentioned in the past, but I really should uh, talk about it at some point. But I'll, I'll leave it for a future video. There's a little button here that unlocks this and we can obviously then change our uh, speed setting for the film. Hot shoe for a flash and shutter release button. Um, there's no receptacle in top for the... Um, remote shutter release that's down on the front of the camera here we've got a switch then which uh, performs a number of different functions so first of all at the moment it's in uh, locked mode so nothing's going to fire off accidentally uh, our main sort of operating um, mode is program which i'll come back to in more detail we've also got one for a fixed um, shutter speed of a 60 of a second so that it syncs up with the flash um, and then we've got a bulb setting, obviously, for uh, continuous uh, release unless we release the, the shutter button. Uh, past the lock, we have uh, a battery check, which if I move it over, you should see uh, the light up there to show that you've got a good battery. Just above that light, we have our shutter count, so we know um, how many shots we've taken so far. We spin back around to the front, and if I just release the lens at the moment, for a moment rather, um, so this is the Pentax uh, K mount, which is um, quite a popular mount, many lenses available for it, a bayonet mounting, uh, like I've mentioned in the past, uh, we've got the two red dots to line it up uh, once we're putting the lens back. But on this uh, model, they actually amended it slightly. So it's a normal K mount in that it will take any K mount lenses, um, but they actually referred to it as the KA mount. And what they meant by that was that if you had um, one of the Pentax's lenses that had the hyphen A on it, it meant that you could set this uh, to an automatic exposure, which I'll demonstrate in a moment, um, but only obviously if you had the right type of lens. So let me just put it back on. Oops. So on the top here, we have our usual um, aperture settings. This particular lens goes from f2.8 up to f22 or down to f22, whichever way you look at it. But if we bring this all the way across, you should see if I press the little button here, I can then move it one notch further onto A for automatic. And basically, if um, we're using this type of lens that has this feature and the camera has the KA mount, 
By being on program now, the camera will automatically, based on the amount of light going in, will set the uh, correct aperture setting. All you have to worry about is focus. Um, if you don't have it on that option, or if you have a non-KA uh, mount uh, lens, so for instance, I've got uh, another Pentax lens here. Um, this is, uh, as you can see, Pentax M, so it is uh, a manual lens. It doesn't have the A option on here. It will just function as a normal lens. So if that's the case, camera won't set the um, uh, aperture, but it will automatically set the shutter based on the light meter reading. Okay, so what about this big, huge bulbous thing here? Well, you may have noticed what we don't have is a wind-on lever because this camera for the first time uh, for me anyway, uh, has a uh, electronic wind on. Um, the way it basically works is once you've uh, closed the back and you've loaded up your, uh, your film, you would press uh, the button once. Um, you may better see we're on S at the moment for start. Uh, it will automatically take some shots and wind on. So wait for this now. <laughs> Great sound, I love it. Uh, you now see we've moved on to um, frame one. And now, as long as we're on program or, or one of the others, it'll automatically wind the film on every time I take a shot. So I can do another one. There you go. Um, quite battery intensive. Um, I've always been worried that if I was halfway through a film and I'd run out of battery, but I suppose the answer is just to carry some spares with you. Batteries on the bottom and it's just two uh, AA batteries. Um, we've also got our um, release to wind the film back. So when the film gets to the end, it won't wind on any further. It won't wind itself back automatically. You would have to do that in the normal way with, this, with the take-up uh, crank handle, if you like, here. So yeah, that's why the big bulbous side to it. It's the holding the motor for winding the film on. Um, self timer on the front so just um, as you've seen before just flick this switch up um, obviously set up my shot and when I press the shutter now uh, we get a basically a sort of countdown to taking a shot I think it's 12 seconds there we go it's getting there we go, there we go. obviously quite a long shot because of the low light in here so yeah, there we go. It's um, not uh, a type of camera I would have um, chosen probably had it not been very cheap um, and in great condition. Um, some scratching around this lens, but like I've got many, many other Pentax lenses, so I'm not too concerned about that. Um, it's a bit of a novelty. Um, I would have never have chosen an automatic wind on before. I prefer to, to do that when I'm ready. Um, or even to take double exposures. But yeah, nice camera. Uh, my first Pentax um, hopefully won't be the last because there's a few others that I've got my eye on. Um, but yeah, it's uh, it's a nice little, little camera, um, if a little bit heavy. <laughs> so there you go. Um, Pentax A3 or A3000, depending on where you're from. Um, great camera, and I have used it quite a lot. But um, yeah, not something I would have chosen normally. But uh, it's all about trying out new things, I guess. Quick thank you to everyone who has subscribed. I'm getting closer to my uh, short-term target of 100 uh, subscribers, and I'm really excited about that. So thank you all. Um, other than that, see you next time. <laughs> Great sound, I love it.